Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. This is a continuation of my quest to figure out how to make pepper oil. So guys, we are going to make the pepper oil the chili pepper oil I'm here in the backyard to harvest the peppers for the chili oil I need about 20 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. yeah that's about enough so let's go make some pepper oil To make the chili oil, the hot chili oil, <clears throat> of course you need some habanero peppers. I'm using peppers from my garden. This is about 250 grams. That would be like half a pound. I will go ahead and wash the pepper. Then I am using olive oil. This is 500 milliliters of olive oil, about a pound. And then I'm using an equal amount of water. So we'll go ahead and add the water to a pot. Okay. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt to the water then I'm adding the olive oil oh and you would notice I'm wearing some kind of gloves so when you're working with peppers you want to make sure that you wear gloves if you have some available otherwise make sure you wash your hands really well so now I add the oil perfect before you add the peppers, poke some holes. So I'm using a toothpick. I will just poke holes, a few holes. Okay, we're done and we just let this cook down until all the water has evaporated and what you'll be left with will be the chili oil. So we'll be right back. If you have a venting hood, you might want to go ahead and use it so people in the house are not coughing. So I just moved my, and by the way, I'm using an instant pot. You can do this on the stove top, it really doesn't matter. It's beginning to boil right now, as you can see, and it's about 6.36 on the clock. In about 10 minutes now, it's coming up on 20 minutes. been about 25 minutes now and this is how the peppers are looking like. There's still water in there and so we continue to cook it. We are at 35 minutes or so and as you can see the water is beginning to dry. Now we have mostly oil. We continue to cook the peppers. It's getting softer now. It's no longer firm. ready now you don't want the peppers to burn so at this point I'm going to remove 
the peppers from the oil. These are the pepper chaps. The leftover, I'm going to blend this or use this in cooking. And now I have the oil, which I'm going to filter. So that's my oil. I'll let it cool and then I'll transfer them into bottles. So these are the bottles that I'm going to use to save my chili oil in. I have some labels that I'm going to put on the bottles. So we have... And this would be the date for today, June 26. And there you have it, your chili oil. At this point, I'm just going to transfer the oil into my bottles and these are shelf stable. And that's one reason why I really wanted to make the chili oil. I use it to flavor um, something like cauliflower rice. When it's just steamed, it really adds that peppery flavor to it and then it's just spicy and nice. So you can use it to flavor things like soups, stews, your omelette, stuff like that. Um, refrigeration is really not required. It's, again, is shelf stable. I hope you could, you consider making it, and if you do, as always, I would, I would like to know. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay healthy. Please do not forget to share, do not forget to like the video, and do not forget to subscribe. I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.